Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rodej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I am solving the weekly contest 301. The question that I have chosen this time is minimum amount of time to fill cups and if you are interested in more questions of the contest, the playlist is in the description below. So do check that out. Uh, let's walk through the question together. Here you are given a water dispenser that contain that can dispense three types of water, cold, warm and hot water. Every second you can either fill up to two different types of cups with one unit each. What uh, you are given, you are given an array that contains uh, the amount for three different types of water that are to be filled, cold, warm and hot. You need to identify the minimum number of seconds needed to fill up all the three cups. For example, here uh, we have three different types of cups, one for hot, cold and warm and uh, the minimum amount of time in order to fill in such a configuration is four units. So I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly walk on to it. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are specified below. Now let's get start, get, get started. Here in this example, the cold target is 5 units, warm target is 4 units and very hot target is also 4 units and it is specified in the question that uh, in each second you can fill in 2 glasses with 1 1 unit each. So remember this is very important that 2 glasses parallelly simultaneously can be filled with 1 1 unit each in 1 second time frame. We will exactly use this property in order to achieve this target and whenever we are selecting the glasses to be filled in we will choose the ones that has the maximum that needs the maximum capacity for example here we will select the first one as 5 and the next one as any of the four would work so let's assume that we are selecting this one so after one second has passed how much more water needs to be filled in what is the updated configuration so we have filled in this with one unit so the needed configuration is 4 3 and 4 Again, let's assume another second has passed after two seconds. What is the updated configuration? So we will be selecting the one that has maximum capacity, this and this one. Remember, uh, so the updated configuration would be equal to something like this. Three, three, three. And let's proceed ahead. Next, we have uh, after th three seconds, what would be the updated configuration? You can select any of the two threes. So let's assume we have selected these. And uh, what's going to happen? The updated configuration is something like this 2, 2, comma 3. Let's proceed ahead. After 4 seconds, what would be the updated state? The updated state would be equal to uh, we will be selecting the ones that have the, needs the maximum capacity, probably these two ones. Any of the two would work. So the updated state would be equal to 2, 1, 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we have after 5 seconds, what would be the state? So we will be selecting the ones that where the maximum capacity is needed, these two. So the updated state would be something like this, this and this. One, one, one. After another second, what would be the updated state? You can select any of the two glasses since all, all of them are equal. So the updated state would be equal to something like this. I selected these two. And after the seventh second, what is the updated state? It is zero, zero, zero. And remember this time, uh, there was only one glass that, that was to be filled. The rest were already filled in. So in the last second, we are just filling one single glass with one unit of water. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's shoot for solving the next example. And in total, how many seconds have elapsed? Seven seconds would be needed. So let's shoot for understanding this example as well. Again, uh, let's select the one which, ha which has the maximum capacity four and two. So after one second, what would be the state? One, three, one. After next second, what would be the state? Select the one which has maximum capacity. Let's select these two. So one, two and zero. Let's proceed ahead. What will be the state after the third second? Let's select the one which has the maximum, that needs the maximum uh, capacity. Uh, two and one. So let this gets updated to zero. This gets updated to one. This gets updated to zero. And after four seconds, what would be the state? All of them have been updated to zero, zero, zero. That means we have achieved the targets. And in the last second, we only filled in this particular glass. Rest of the glasses were already filled to their maximum capacities. Again, the total time taken here was four units. Let's do it for the next example as well. Uh, and here we have five zero zero. 
and with it will take it's really simple it will take five seconds for us to fill in this particular glass and each second we are filling this glass by one unit of water so first will be four zero zero three zero zero two zero zero one zero zero so in total five seconds have been passed and the takeaway here is uh, we will exactly do the same thing we'll do the simulation kind of a technique and we will be using priority queues to select those two glasses that has the maximum capacity so far that needs to be filled first so remember you will pull out two glasses to be filled in which has a maximum capacity and we'll exactly do the same simulation simulation that we have just did so let's quickly move on to the coding session and include it up here I've created the priority queue and I've marked it as max priority queue. So remember the comparator I have at pass in, in the form of a max priority queue. And let's proceed ahead. Let me just write max heap over here. And uh, I have iterated over all the elements that are there in my amount array. It would be three. I've added them in my priority queue. I've created an answer variable. So what do I do? I pull out two elements from the priority queue poll dot uh, pq dot poll gives me the first element that has the maximum capa maximum capacity the next one similarly gives us the one uh, which has the second maximum capacity out of the priority queue and in case both of them have already been set to low, less than or equal to zero i abort the process because uh, we have reached the final targets that simply means all three have been set to less than or equal to zero i simply reduce the count for first and second i push them back and with each iteration and incrementing the answer variable so once we are out of this while loop we simply return that up so let's submit it accept it and with this we have solved this particular question as well i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more update from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye